to Jones now, scampers out of the dummy half of the quick play of the ball, Minikin out the back for Gale, a chance here for Gale, who's going to go one-on-one -on -one over the top of the fullback and gets the first try of the game. The scrum, 10 metres out from the Hunslet line, the ball comes out to Reynolds, it's going to be hard to stop here, in fact they won't stop him, straight off the scrum. This will be the last one for Rovers, Lacan stands, kicking high, looking to put... Render under pressure, Render drops the ball into the arms of Aikens, who just has to straighten up. The short ball there for Jones, and Jones scores and touched under the post. Just trying to slow things down a little bit, Lacan's ball out to win the space now. Look, Koki Koki into space on this right edge. He's got men on the inside, he's gone round him, almost went without the ball, and he's eventually wrapped up. Desperate tackle there from Ewan Orr. Ten metres out, the long looping pass to Lacan's out to Reynolds, they've gone... Touchline to touchline, Day finds the offload, quick hands, Minikin must score, cuts in field, back-to-back -back tries. Forward, forward again here now, through Jones, Jones just goes straight to the middle of the field, he tries to find the offload, he spins out of the tackle, he's still going, Jones, it'll be miraculous if he scores here, off the right foot, he's going to score in fact, Connor Jones, how did he score that try? 40 metres out, untidy play of the ball, Jones again, off his left foot, this is what he likes, finds the offload for Dean Roberts, Roberts is going to go close to scoring here, he's eventually grounded. Half a metre short, desperate tackle from Orr. And down low was Watson. They come, the, ball, the ball comes out wide, they must score here. Short ball there from Reynolds to Minikin, and Minikin scores. Advances the ball five metres away from the line, two metres to the right-hand side of the purse. Back through the middle, Lacan's shaping left, gives it to the, sh the short ball there to Jack Arnold, who scores on the left side. Play with. What have they got in attack? The pass comes out to Massey. Massey, short ball there for Day. It's going to be hard to stop here, Brad Day, but they get just enough men under the ball there to stop the progress of the big back rower. He'll play the ball a metre out. They're coming short side. Aikens, dummies, goes himself, drops to the ground and scores the Featherston fullback. In his first competitive display back at the club, as Bowes just straight through the middle of the rook. Bowes has got men the left and right, loops the ball over the top to Gale. Gale looking for his second. He's going to go close to scoring. In fact, he will score. Swats away the attention of you. Hands, look hands out the back now. Bowes digs into the line. Moves to Aikens, Aikens. A few shirt grabbing and players missing for Hunslet at the moment. The ball comes back in field to Burrs. Burrs to Jones, who's on a hat trick. Finds the pass there for Kamano. Gives it to Roberts. Dean Roberts is going to go close to scoring. Can he get the ball down, Dean Roberts? He can. They come left again. Burrs, 10 metres out. Gives it to Aikens. Aikens to Minikin. Out to Gale, who's on a hat trick. Steps inside. Simple as that. Rounds the winger to put it down underneath the sticks untouched. And he completes his hat trick. And for the to the left to attack. Batley with Reynolds who takes it and on the charge Rovers are right the way through and scoring. Wonderful score. Gadwin Springer's loitering, goes behind Springer to Reynolds, back to Aikens who spins out of a tackle and offloads to Gareth Gale. Can he power over Gareth? He is over! And with real hunger now, midway point of the second half, 12-10, the Batley lead. Second half has been all Rovers. And the ball's come out and the ref says you can play on and there's gaps on the far side. Can Rovers score in the corner? Yes, they can! We're Koki Koki! Nine metres away from the try line. Bowes to Addy. Addy out the bat to Reynolds. Ben Reynolds got options now. Short pass to Brad Day, and there's the first try of the afternoon. Brad Day running a lovely line. Left and right. Will they go left to Reynolds? No, they go right to Lacans. Lacans with a bullet pass to Hardcastle. Hardcastle with the pass. And we're Koki Koki finishes in the corner. Manoa, we're Koki Koki with the try. Kick from deep, Caleb Bakers has positioned himself well. Picks it up, so Featherston. Oh, sheer class from Caleb Bakers. He's got Ben Reynolds in field, and Ben Reynolds is going to cross for Featherston's fifth try of the afternoon. Debut at Hunslet in the 1895 Cup for Roberts. Lacans receives it from deep, steps in field, dives over. It's a try for Frenchman Thomas Lacans. Halfway as the tackle count is wiped clean. And another set for Featherston and Danny Addy breaks the line. He's got support from Thomas Lacans and Thomas Lacans. Two tries in two minutes for the Frenchman. Addy to Lacans. Lacans with a little kick out wide. Looking for with Koki Koki. Has with Koki Koki grounded it in the corner. The referee says yes, he has. So Thomas Lacans, who scored the last two tries of the first half, creates the first of the second Try half. Nice. Jones infield to Tomlinson. Tomlinson with a lovely pass. Caleb Aikens, can he go around the fullback? Yes, he can. Caleb Aikens with the try. The Featherstone wingman. Lacan's infield to Springer. 
Gadwin Springer with the offload to Lacans. Lacans to Caleb Aikins. Caleb Aikins, can he cross over? Has he got that down? Great defence there from Thato Heave to stop Aikins crossing for his second. Line. Brooke Strength would have taken him over. They come left with Addy. Addy steps infield, and that's that's easy for Danny Addy. Danny Addy scores a try. Scorer of the latest try. Lacans with a short pass to Brad England. Brad England. 40 metres away from the try line, steps in field, offloads to Connor Jones. Connor Jones with a pass to Tomlinson. He bumps off one, goes further left to Minikin. Gaz Gale receives it, not much space to go up, but he pops it off in field to Tomlinson. Tomlinson with a pass to Harry Bowes. Good space from Bowes. Picked up by Tomlinson. Tomlinson with the offload. And Gareth Gale is going to score the easiest try, dare I say, that he'll score this season. Addy. Connor Jones, Connor Jones with a dummy, car through, inside to Tommy Lacans. Hat-trick time for the Frenchman, he dots down underneath the post. 70, 66 points to nil, we lead at the minute. Connor Jones playing well since he moved to half-back. Jones, Tomlinson with the pass out wide, gets the return pass in field, and then a lovely pass again from Keenan Tomlinson. Another assist for him, and Connor Jones crosses for the Can't try. Can't find any space over on that. Far right hand side of the pitch. It's the last tackle. Lacans, can he produce some magic? It's a cross field kick that's not been dealt with and it presents an opportunity for Gareth Gale. He's now running across the line looking for some space. He slides a kick in himself, does Gale. It's dropped by Brandon Pickersgirl and Tommy Lacans is there to profit for Featherstone. Jones away from dummy half. Can he get over Connor Jones? He can. Second try of the afternoon for the Rovers and Connor Jones, the hooker. Down. Connor Jones away from dummy half again. Short pass to Bussy. Bussy shrugs off the tackle. Harry Bowes, short pass at the line. Great pass from Harry Bowes and it's a try for Brad Day. Jack Bussy hard and direct. And the offload as well from Bussy. Good work by him. Connor Jones carves through the defensive line and says, see you later to Brandon Pickers, girl. And he slides under the post and throws the ball into the Rovers' supporters. A great try from Connor Jones. Tom Lacans with the kick across, looking for Wakoki Koki. Finished by Wakoki Koki and Manoa Wakoki Koki. Scores the first try of the second half. Lovely kick from Tom Lacans. Add it to Lacans. Lacans. Short pass to Tomlinson. Keenan Tomlinson crashes over for the Rovers. Couple of assists against Thato Heath. And a chance for Rovers to hit the 40 point mark here. Danny Addy fancies it himself. Danny Addy gets over now with the ball. 40 metres out. For the Rovers, Lacans infield to Tomlinson. Tomlinson with a pass to Caleb Aikins. Aikins finds a gap, still going. Aikins pass inside to Connor Jones, and it's a hat trick try for the Featherstone number nine. Bows to Addy. Addy back against the grain. Short pass to Brad Day. Brad Day can he force his way over? It's a pass inside, and it's a second try for Danny Addy. Lacans. Lovely pass out wide, and it's a try in the corner. Second try of the afternoon for Manoa Wakoki Koki. This is the last. They favoured this left hand side every time so far. They come over again. I think they're going to keep the ball in hand, and they're in, in the corner. And the referee just has a chat with his linesman, and he gives the try. And Featherston strike first. After all of that arm wrestle. Connell win, I think it is. He's gone over on that left-hand side. And Featherson Rover strike first, Paul. Yeah, absolutely. And I thought they'd missed a chance when the offload came. Nobody reacted to Connor Jones. But uh, as I said earlier, you see Josh Griffin. He's just getting a little bit close to Lino. I said they'd go off the back. They set the trap. Here we go, the lead's there, they've gone off the back. Griffin can't make up the ground, he's, he's, uh, he's lost Jones Brings us out to the left to Addy. Addy just dropping it off to Wellington Albert. Just a little bit disjointed and slow on that play, but he gets the offload away again. It's the second time he's caused some problems with that. An opportunity here, Day getting the offload away. Wink will be in, in the corner again, and Ferriston get a second. The offload causing chaos, and Connor win. 
for the second time in this game, finds himself in space, steps back inside, and after a really attritional opening half an hour, Featherston 10, Wakefield 0. Well, it's Wellington Albert again, is it, with, with, with the offload, he's... Uh, There's the error. Yeah, again, return serve, kick, the kick was ugly, but I said before, didn't I force the errors, and the, there they got the reward. Albert again with the offload, Connor Jones this time, this time they are alert to it and proactive, and they're on the front foot, they react to Connor Jones, who just services his edge there, and it's Connor Wynn again, who had a little bit to do, didn't he? He stepped in off that left foot and, uh, and beat a challenge to just come in, improve the angle slightly, but most importantly, got the four points, so... Um, they come out to the right, Lino brings it up to the line, and Josh Griffin comes up with the error, and there's some space here, Gale could be away, Gale could be away to win the cup tie! He's going for the corner, he's going to make it! Featherston Rovers win in the most dramatic of circumstances! Gareth Gale goes 60 metres in Golden Point, and Featherston Rovers are in the sixth round of the Betfred Challenge Cup. We always said there was a chance of an error at any given point. It's Josh Griffin who spilled it. Gareth Gale on hand to clean up and go all the way. And a famous win for Featherston Paul. Oh, well, <laughs> you can sit, you can only just sit like this is as old school as it gets. The fans are like jumping on the pitch. Everybody is black from head to toe. And, and like we said before, it was going to come off an arrow, wasn't it? Somebody's going to have to break a tackle off. It's going to come off an arrow or some a lack of discipline. Here's the tries we speak. It's Mason Lee. Lee up to, to the line. Yeah, if there's geez. one man on the field, you didn't want that ball to fall no. into. And Gareth Gale with the pace, Do even you know, in the mud. And it, it looked like there were people there who could cover him as well, but then you started picking out who the players were. It was, it was young Vagano, the big prop. He was never going to chase Gale down, was he? And, uh, well, it's fantastic from Featherstone. They've had to hold on for the whole 40 minutes. They've been dominated for 40 minutes to get to Golden Point. They've had a few chances they've messed up. And, uh, like I say, persistence, resilience, all them words you want, adjectives you want to dis be described as, as a football team, as a rugby team. Well, Featherston had that today, and uh, it, was, it was Gale who's, who's come up with a match. suffered a stroke last season, and here he is back playing. He's playing with Koki Koki away. Oh, and he's through! Is he in touch? Play on! Lacan wants it, he's got to give it, surely! Tom Lacan was free, he's still going, he's going to score! Wow! I'm sure he's on the wrong option. Level. And it was very similar to Ellery Hanley's run for the international side, and he's still going, and he's still going, and he beat, he went round Josh Charlie, you don't see that very often. Then he, it looked all the world that he was just going to draw the fullback and pass the ball inside. And he found a more difficult route to do. He beat three people and put the ball down. What a try, sensational bit of skill. Well, he had no right, right on cue, Hardcastle. Oh, he's tiptoeing down the whitewash. I'd like to see that again. Well, had a look at the touch, George. He had a perfect view. Hardacre got there. The second man got there. But the big man's over. Last tackle, Lee. They're going to go left. And behind him, they're going to run. Oh, another intercept. And right on cue, has he got another one? It's Mulhern. He won't get there. It's the second spectacular try for Manuela. Where Koki Koki and Featherston are not done yet. And they were down, they were so short, they were still down to 12 men. You know, this, that's just ticked to zero now, so Mackenzie, yeah, can't come back on. But that meant they were down on numbers on that right edge. He took a huge gamble there, Manoa, with Koki Koki. Oh, fired it. Brad England. Jones, Springer, the dummy runner. Now then, turn us off. Looks a pass. First chance to see what he's all about. He's got a step, all right. He's still going. Aikens, what a try this could be. Gale gets his try. What a try it is to Paul Turner. Spurs. Out to Addy. Addy puts the kick in behind the line. There's a chance here for Dave. He gets the bounce. He picks it up and scores on the left edge for Featherstone. 
And I'm literally the last play of the first half as the siren sounds in the background. Grassing tackle, Dick. desperate grassing tackle from Gledhill that gives away a six again. Addy, quick play of the ball. Dummy scores himself here, Danny Addy. Can he get to the line? He's got the ball down, Danny Addy. And he set up a try in the first half for his side to bring them back into the game. Second half to introduce him. Plays it on the 40 now. Jones gives it to Addy. Addy with a little bit of room. Gives the ball out wide now. For Minikin, Minik has slipped the net. He's got men inside. He's going to try and find the pass. He's not. He's going to step round him, and Minikin's going to score. Does it all himself and shoots it from long range. What a try that is from Featherstone. Plays it ten out. Springer. Springer just tucks it under his arm. Springer is a metre short. He's not allowed to play the ball. It needs to be a quick play of the ball. He's not given one. Aikins. Dummies himself. Aikins is going to straight up and score. Caleb Aikins has snatched it at the death for Featherstone Rovers. 90 minutes, 90 seconds left on the clock. Away. Let's see what we can do. So the tap restart. Game back underway. Addy has the ball. There's a great pass there for Hardcastle. Back inside to Danny Addy, who scores under the post. And what a way to bring up your 500 points of your career. Really slick play from the Featherstone captain. A lovely delayed shot pass to Hardcastle. Straight off the tap from the penalty. Hardcastle went through. Found his skipper back on the inside. He dives over under the post. And that's just the try that Featherstone needed to get back into this contest. 25 metres out. Scrum feed is one, given to Bowes, into the line, out the back to Aikens, the space, Aikens double pops, straight to up, inside, Caleb Aikens, scores to the right hand side of the post, and throws the ball into the crowd, he's mopped by his teammates, and they were knocking on the door for a few sets before that, but this time, Feathers did find the right Team. play. As Bowes drops off England, England. Tries to beat Lily. Lily with a desperate tackle. Gives the offload to Jones. On to Tennyson. Tennyson straight through the middle of the rook here. Finds the offload for Jones. Jones has one, got one to be. He's going to score. Colour Jones. An immediate impact from Leo Tennyson with a wraparound play. Eventually gets up and lets him play it. Ball out the back to Turner. Turner gives it to Wallace. Wallace tries to straighten the defence. Good tackle down low by Suter. Jones. Is it to Turner? Turner steps, goes for the line. Turner, has he got the ball down? Paul Turner, the referee, points to the spot. And Paul Turner gets his first try in Featherston. Halted his progress. Featherston's still deep inside their own half. He haven't really made many metres forward. As Albert finds an offload, a better one this time for Jones. Jones, dummies. Gives it to Tomlinson, out to Gale, to Gorman. Gorman's got a little bit of pace. He's down the touchline, Louis Gorman. He's got men inside. He gives it to Jones. Jones is going to go close to scoring here. That's a good tackle from Bradford, but Jones has got to the line, and he scored. Now then, have Featherston got enough time? We've got just over five minutes on the he's clock. Play the ball. He looks like he's struggling there, does England. Eventually gets to his feet. Jones down the short side. Jones with the try, Connor Jones. Middle of the Doncaster defence. Bussy at first receiver, comes to Reynolds. Reynolds in field to Brad England. England across the line, finds Turner. Riesling comes out but can't tackle Paul Turner. Still going his Turner, still going his Turner. Throws a dummy, Paul Turner. Just a couple of metres short. Jones again from dummy half, out wide. Gareth Gale, second try of the afternoon, Gareth Gale themselves quite often here comes Hall on the last tackle he gets a loose pass away and Riesling doesn't bend his back and the ball's offloaded to Connor Jones and I tell you what he's gonna score his second try of the afternoon I think Luke Briscoe thought he played for Featherstone still there offloading to Jones Turner with the pass to Reynolds Reynolds shows it to Aiden pops it inside to England Can we get over here? Aid into Reynolds. Reynolds with a dummy. Ben Reynolds crosses for the try. Benny Reynolds. And just the start. Jones to Turner. Turner with the dummy. Paul Turner through the gap. He's got Caleb Aikens on his right hand side. And the Rovers fullback dots down under the post. And Rovers go back to back at the start of the second half. And that was created by the map. Jones away from dummy half again in search of a hat-trick. Connor Jones gives the pass to Fishwick. Fishwick, he passes to Turner. Rovers have got the numbers here. Pass to Brad Day and Brad Day on his return to the team scores the try. Made again by Paul Turner. It's 10 metres out. Bows to Turner. Turner, short pass again to Brad Day. 
And Brad Day strolls in for his second try of the afternoon. What a line from Brad Day, what a pass. Here comes Aiden. Aiden to Bowes, Bowes with a little kick, he's going himself and he scored a really nice individual try there as Harry Bowes. A little grubber kick for himself. Oh, the Doncaster. Out. Jones are acting half. Fires the ball out to Addy. Addy to Turner. Turner dummies. Fires a lovely pass here for Minikin. He releases Aikens out wide. They must score here, Featherstone. If he gives the ball to Gale, and Gale touches down in the corner. A fantastic and piece. We'll play the ball eventually eight metres out. Just to the left of the post. They come back centre field. Turner looping pass out to England. England's going to score untouched. And wonderful play again from Paul Turner. Manufacturers, Featherston, second try of the game. Witness here, hand on the ball. Ball comes out the back to Aikens. Aikens, chip over the top, looking for Hall. Corey Hall's going to collect it and score. Rounds it underneath the post. And what a try and what a response of the back of Witness. Waits an acting half, gives it to Bowes. Bowes, double pumps, gives it to Aikens. Aikens into the line here, just has to submit to the tackle there. The Featherston lead man just getting in the way of things. He'll play it 10 metres to the left of the post. Short ball here for Day. He's going to try it back his way to the line. Brad Day has he scored. He's reached the line. The referee points to the spot. Butterworth. Looping pass in field for Bussy. Bussy finds Jones. Pulls the trigger on the ball. He's going to find Win outside. And Win's going to score. And restores the lead for Featherston Rovers. A wonderful pass. Is out. Big play needs it needed here. Jones. The kick it comes into the path of Connor Wynn. Connor Wynn's got it off a deflection. And Connor Wynn will score and seal the game for Featherston Rovers. The kick came from Connor Jones. He deflected off a witness man into the path of Hall, who just tipped it on for Connor Wynn, who gets his second try. And a chance to put more pressure on the Whitehaven defence. It's Jones with the grubber. It's a lovely one. It's holding up nicely. Are they going to get there in time and get that down? Yes, they are. Wrapped up round the legs, brought down, 35 from his own try line. Again, now it's Featherston trying to speed things up at the rock. Lovely quick feats as well, get back on the inside there from Turner. Turner now with the cutout balls of beauty towards that right-hand side. There might be an opportunity here, Connor Barley plays it on. Now it's Win. Win. just a couple of metres away. Oh, Connor Win, superb. What a try. His second of the game. Connor win, brilliant finish in at the corner. Last tackle play now then for Featherston, they're 10 metres away. Chip kick, out to the wing, Gale's got eyes on it. Whitehaven get a hand to the ball, it's picked up by Minikin, who's touched it down, and the try is given. A third try of the so afternoon. Well truly involved, five metres away now to the left of the post, Featherston Rovers, Bowes, Addy, Addy to the right of the sticks! Danny Addy's got it down! Seven and a half minutes gone in the second half to stretch the lead. First tackle made on day, five metres away down the left-hand side. Addy away to that ting half. Addy sells the dummy, tries to go over himself. Has he got this one down? Featherston Rovers think he has. And the try is given. Addy to Turner, Paul Turner, long pass out wide. Connor Wing, can he finish? Yes, he can. It's another try for Connor Wynn, and he opens the scoring. Here comes Massey. Just a couple of metres short of the line now, Rovers. Jones out the back to Albert. Albert stretches out, and Wellington Albert scores. Is that by Woodburn Hall? <clears throat> Bussy to Turner, Turner with a long pass to Hardcastle, opportunity, Josh Hardcastle with a dummy, Hardcastle forces his way over, and it's his first try of 2024 for Josh Hardcastle, there was no stop in the centre there. And the Rovers are really going to have to dig deep in the final exchanges, of course, down to 12 men following Gareth Gale's red card, Bussy with the offload, here comes Jones, great work from Bussy, Jones with a long pass, Connor win. go on Connor. Ooh, tackled 10 metres short of the line. Fishwick back on for the Rovers. Brad Day across the line, needs help. He's tackled 10 metres short. Big opportunity here for the Rovers. Can we extend our lead? Jones with a kick. Oh, it's dropped by Keyes. Minikin out wide to Connor Wynn and Connor Wynn in the corner. It's a double for Wynn and the acrobatic finish in the corner. 
Oh, here comes Huli Huli with the pass, and he's a hat trick. Hat trick hero, Connor Wynn. Keys to Widdup, Widdup to Joe Frey. There's an opportunity here for Halifax. Joe Frey didn't use the players on his outside, which he should have done, and it's collected by Turner. Go, Paulie Turner, can he race away? He's got Woodburn Hall chasing him. He steps away, does Turner, he has to step in field. Eventually, he's still going, passing in field to Connor Wynn. Can he score a fourth? Yes, he can. Connor Wynn gets his fourth of the afternoon. Paul Turner looks as though he gave up on the sprint himself and then just handed it in field to Connor Wynn. Left-hand side of the uprights. Options left and right for Featherston here. Short side play for Jones, dummies himself and goes over and scores Connor Jones. As simple as that, just a show and go, five metres away from In the context of this game, Jones finds Turner, Turner digs into the line, comes off his left foot, Turner, Turner, Paul Turner's going to go close to scoring here, can he get the ball out? He can! And the fans behind the post will tell you that Paul Turner has manufactured a try out of nothing there, came off his left foot, off his right, bumped off a couple of would-be Jewsby defenders. By Davies, ten metres out. Featherston looking for the lead for the first time in this game. Massey, Massey's going to go close to scoring here. But he's held up. He's, in fact, he's got the ball down there, Nathan Massey has he? The try is awarded! And really poor defence, you have to say, from Jewsbury, who had him wrapped up there, Nathan Massey, one of the most experienced men on the field this afternoon. Hasn't had a break yet so far in this game. He just took the ball one up, took three defence. Turner, little chip over the top here. Can he regather? Will he get a nice bounce? He toes it on. It's knocked on there by the Jewsbury man, given back to Turner. Turner finds the flick pass from Minikin. Minikin will score! And that's four tries back to back for Featherston Rovers. Ten metres out, ten metres to the right hand side of the post. They come centre field. Addy, Bussy rather, gives it to Turner. Turner on to Harris. Harris, long looping pass out to Minikin. Minikin beats his man and he'll get his second on the left edge. And that's the try that Featherston have been looking for and have been building. Oh, a very short break. He's been excellent so far as Bowes skips through the line, finds the offload there for Turner. Turner's going to take the man on himself. He goes round the fullback and pulls. Turner grabs his second try of the game and could that be the try that seals the victory for Featherston Rovers, great oh, play the ball. Bowes finds Bussy Bussy dummies himself, he's going to go for the line here but Dawson's got up underneath him he's put the ball on the try line there Jack Bussy and he scores Bose again Bowes stabs the kick into the in goal area, looking for England England's got to the ball first and he slams the ball to the ground and the try is awarded scrum feed is won, Sykes into the line, just gives it to nobody. It's knocked down by Jones. Jones is going to race away and score here. Connor Jones and disaster for Dewsbury. Delight for Featherstone as Connor Jones races the best part of 60 metres. Turner comes to Aikens out the back. Here comes Minikin. Rovers have got the numbers infield from Minikin to Aikens. And Caleb Aikens marks his return to the team with a try. It's a tackle, tackled by Johnston. Hardcastle to Bowes. Bowes to Addy, Addy to Turner, Turner out to Day, it's all very lateral, Day pops it back inside to Turner, Turner with the dummy, Paul Turner forcing his way over, strength there from Paul Turner in abundance. All over him there, Jones has seen some space out of dummy half, simple as you like, Connor Jones just weaved his way, a quick play of the ball, darted out to the left hand side, Jones out to Addy, Addy out to Eden, Eden skips away from 1-2, finds the kick into the in goal area and it's grounded by Brad England. The referee yeah, points short, just to the right hand side of the post, back through the centre again. Addy, Addy drops off Day, the space for Brad Day, he must score! And Brad Day gets Featherston's third try of the afternoon and puts them back. Come forward now through Bussy, onto Addy. Addy floats the ball over the top there for Wynn. Wynn's going to have a stroll in here in the left corner and dots it down. Wonderful play from Danny Addy, who embraces the try scorer. Oh, in the up to the 20 now, 80 metres on the set after points. Last tackle, Addy, flat ball there for Minikin. Minikin's going to score! And Featherston go bang, bang, score two tries. Steady the ship for Featherston, frantic play. Back through the middle they come. Addy, off the left foot, Danny Addy's going to do it himself and scores to the right hand side. Five metres short of the line, just to the left of the post. Jones, out of acting out, spins and goes himself, Connor Jones, and he get the ball down! He has got the ball down for his Taken second try. 35 metres away from the line. But, uh, Jones out to Aikens, Aikens double pumps, slips the net. Caleb Aikens, he's got a man on the inside, it's Connor Jones. Connor Jones is going to reach the line and score! And that's Featherston's first points of the game and the architect. 20 metres out. 
Batty out the back. Turner, they lose the ball again here. The offload to Turner. Turner's going to streak away and score. And a huge defensive play from Paul Turner once again. He came up off his edge. Now Turner, first receiver, short ball for Springer who hit the ball. A nice line, but a good tackle equally underneath from Ty. Last tackle for Featherston. Patton, double pumps, gives it to Day. Day's going to be hard to stop. They won't stop him, Brad Day. Still a couple of tackles left. Addy at first receiver, comes across field, gives it to Patton. Patton out the back now for Aikens. Aikens to Minikin, he's created the space here for Minikin who gives it to Eden. Eden weaving back in field in traffic, Greg Eden. He's going to try and cut back against the grain and Brown does a good job to put him down. Ten metres away from the line now. Featherston on the last, they're going short side on the left. Patton digs the ball into the goal area. He'll be picked up and scored by Caleb Aikens. Minikin advancing the ball just short of the 20 now. As Eden comes in, gets his second carry, going across the field, gives it to Johnson. Johnson straight to Gorman. Gorman out the back to Gale. Gale finds the offload for Gorman. Gorman is into the backfield now. He's got men in support. Gorman, he gives it to Johnson. Johnson's got Turner on the inside. What a sensational try from the Featherston Rovers as Turner completes the move and scores under the post. Secures possession for his side. They come right. Turner off his right foot. Turner splits them and scores underneath the post. Paul Turner, as simple as you like. He scores underneath the post. Just a couple of weeks ago. Plays it just to the left-hand side of the post. Patton fires the ball out to Jones. Jones digs the ball into the in-goal area. There's no fullback at home and it will be a try to Connor Barley. Out. They're going to load up the left side again here. Patton. The kick into the backfield now is a beauty to Caleb Aikens. Two tries in two minutes from Featherston. And both coming off deft kicks from the playmakers. Tackle still in the bag for Featherston. Addy. Flat pass there for Hardcastle, who barely had a hand laid on him. And he scores to the right-hand side of the post to get Featherston's third try of the afternoon. Wonderful disguise pass there from Danny Addy. He plays it, Kamano, an acting half to Addy. Addy flat pass to Nakabawai. Good low tackle from Hannigan. They're stacking this left side again. Patton, short ball for Day, who goes through untouched on that side. Runs back towards the post to put it down just to the left-hand side of the post. Come short side again, Day. Looking to get his second. He's going to spin away from tackles here, Brad Day. Has he got to the line here, Brad Day? He has, as the referee points to the spot. Well, as simple as you like there from Brad Nobody Day. Himself goes down five short, just to the left-hand side of the post. Jones out to Patton. Patton, dummies, trying to get himself on the score sheet. Declan Patton, and he will. Just bullocks his way over the line. Short side play, Patton. Digs the ball back through the middle of the field. There's nobody at home. This is going to bounce perfectly for Caleb Aikens. And the second try of the game for Aikens. Again off the boot of Declan. Addy. Gives the ball out to Aikens, they've got space out wide here now, Barley, Barley into the backfield, he's got the man in support, he gives it to Gale, and Gale will race away this time, makes no mistake, dots the ball down, and that brings up the half century for Featherston Rovers. Newton, Ainley, Hannigan, gives it out to... There's picked up now the kick, a poor one from Romeo, picked up by Minikin, has Minikin got the pace, the cover defence is coming across here, he's going to loop the pass back and field to Connor Wynn, has Connor Wynn got the pace to outstrip the Minos, and Connor Wynn scores, a fabulous try. On the edge for Whitehaven, in an unhappy afternoon, Addy comes off his left foot, skips into the backfield, Danny Addy just leaves men behind him, he's got men in support here, Addy's just going to go himself, Danny Addy! And he just kept them guessing right to the last minute. And, and over the top. Short side play there for Day. Trying to backpedal towards the line. Can he to his tail? He's got the ball down. Brad Day. And the referee points to the spot. Peters out. Plays the ball. They come short side. Aikens flat pass there for Barley. Barley leaves a man behind. He's got to the ground there. Connor Barley. And reaches out to ground the ball. The referee awards the it. Tackle. Reynolds receives it. Gives it short pass to Brad Day. Oh, it's a great line from Brad Day. Lovely pass from Ben Reynolds. And it's another try for Brad Five Day. Is out. Bows to Aikens, Aikens to Reynolds. Eden's coming out the back. It's a looping pass from Ben Reynolds. It's a try in the corner. Connor Wing gets a try for the Rovers. Plays it. Bows gives it out to Aikens. Aikens flat pass there for Day. Day's going to be hard to stop. They won't stop Bert. Brad Day. And he scores to the left hand side of the post. And a fantastic way for Featherston to respond just before half-time. Reynolds will play it. Arnold just strains things up, looking to go over the top of his man. Pitts did just enough to put him on the ground to meet a meter shot. Ten metres to the left-hand side of the post. Bows. Flat pass there for Kamano. Kamano's going to score! 
Morris Kamara! Field straightens the line. He's put to ground by Blake and Cooper. Inside the 10 now, Batley banging for another purse. The ball comes out to Reynolds. Reynolds out the back to Eden. Out the back, it comes to Connor Wynn, and Connor Wynn's got a stroll in in the left corner. Plays it 40 out now, Hardcastle. Straight to the middle of the run, Josh Hardcastle. Hardcastle into the backfield. Can he get around Hooley? He can. Hooley puts him down. The good cover tackle. But he's now deep inside the first half. They need to get the ball wide here. That's a great ball for Bussy. Bussy! Nobody will lay a hand on Jack Bussy, who runs 30 metres to score. In there, under there, it was Luke Hooley. Last okay. tackle. Reynolds off his left foot. Ben Reynolds going to go close to scoring. Ben Reynolds, has he got the ball down? He has! The referee awards the try. And play on. Beckett plays it inside the 20 now. Reynolds comes off his left foot again. Ben Reynolds is going to go close here. That's a great tackle from Hooley. A try saver and possibly a game saver from Luke Hooley. The flat pass there for Beckett. A try for Jimmy Beckett. Close to the line. And he's mobbed by his teammates. His first game back for the club after joining this week from Jewsby Rams. He's played the whole game in the middle of the field so far. Jimmy Beckett been one of Featherson's best. Harry Bowes. Green out the back, it's intercepted by Reynolds. Now then, has Reynolds got the pace? Reynolds is going to kick clear, he's going to get the first try of the game underneath the post. Ben Reynolds! Rovers 10 out, Jones to add it, add it to Eden, Eden to Reynolds. have got a free on two here, Ben Reynolds throws a dummy. Ben Reynolds crashes over as Ben Reynolds scores. Yes, he has. Jones with a long pass to Addy, Addy, short pass, Josh Hardcastle, great line, Josh Hardcastle, and he stretches out to score, and Rovers get their second try of the afternoon. Springer fancies one from dummy half, Gadwin Springer going for the line, Gadwin Springer scores! No nonsense, hard and direct from Gadwin Springer. And we'll go down just to the right-hand side of the post. Jones, out it comes to Patton. Patton to Reynolds, they need to get the ball out quickly. Eden, double pumps, gives the ball out to Minikin. Out it comes to Conor Wayne, who scores the first try of the game in the left corner. Turn to lose away once again. It brings a cheer from the crowd at the Millennium Stadium. As Wynn looking to get on the outside, Conor Wynn is away! Conor Wynn down the touchline, it's him versus Ashel Bott, can he beat him? And he can't as Ashel Bott rounds him up. But not before Wynn's promoted the ball up to the 30. Now then, can they get the ball wide here? It was a really slow play of the ball. Reynolds just takes the tackle himself, 10 metres further forward. They're inside the 20 now. Pass comes to Minikin. Addy out to Patton. You feel like the chance of the space of this side is gone. As Patton is put to ground there by Ruben Rennie, but still tackles in the bag here for Featherstone. This is a chance if they're patient. Gale, no nonsense carry. This will be the last one now. 10 metres out. Big play coming up here. Addy has the ball. Wide it comes for Reynolds. They've got them going backwards. Minikin to win. Can he finish it? Connor win! Scores the second try! Four feathers said he started the raid. Oh. Options left and right, they come right. Patton wants it, Patton gets it. Kicks out wide, looking for Gale. Gale takes the kick, finds the pass inside. Hardcastle will score! And Josh Hardcastle is mobbed by his teammates. Now, 15 out. Centre field, it comes to Addy. Addy out the back to Patton. Patton, short ball left for Day. Day against the green. Scores as easy as that with barely a hand laid on him. Yeah, Centre field, last tackle. Ball comes left to Addy, who's done the majority of the kicking so far. Puts it high. Looking to get Reynolds one on one with Cresswell. Reynolds takes the ball from Cresswell. He will score! Ben Reynolds! What a terrific play that was. Back to Jones, keeping the ball alive. Reynolds tries to straighten things up. That's a desperate tackle from Walker on the inside. A good job, he was alert to the danger. 10 metres out, Addy comes off his left foot, Danny Addy, trying to get to the line, finds the offload for Jones, Jones beats his man and scores! And just before half-time, Featherston get the try that they were looking for, it was just keeping the ball Since alive. Five shot of the try line, last tackle, ball comes out to Reynolds, fires the pass out to Patton, Patton almost went without it, Patton kicks it off the outside of the boot, it's taken one bounce, it's into the hands of Beckett! And Beckett does exceptionally well to pick up the scraps. Great run from Springer, finds the offload there for Jones. Jones gives it on to Reynolds. Reynolds bumps away from one man. He's put to ground in the end by Wilkinson with help from Cresswell. There's got to be some space here for 
Featherstone as Addy finds Minnick and gives it to Connor Wynn. And Connor Wynn will stroll in on the left here, end. Looking for a quick play of the ball, can't find it. Patton on the halfway line, puts it really high here. A testing one for Shaw. Shaw's lost it, it's come off his hands there, it's stayed in field as Gale picks it up, fires the pass in for Jones, Jones will beat the first man, the last man, and scores to the right-hand side of the post. It's across a couple, back on the inside here, with Lockwood, and Lockwood will take his tackle, about 12 metres away here, from the trial, and they're going to go down to the left-hand side, Danny had it at the line, little grubber kick through, are they in, Rovers are in, on the left-hand side, early try here, for Featherstone, lovely play, out to the left, play this one just left hand side of the post. Bows to his right as Addy round the back of Lockwood. Patton, Patton having to go himself. Options out on the right hand side, and Greg Eden looks as if Greg Eden's in. Great carry from the big front rower. He'll play it five out, bang in front of the post. They come left. Patton, first receiver out to Reynolds. Reynolds digs into the line to Eden. Flat pass here for Win. Win will score in the left corner. He's out. Jones goes right to Reynolds. Reynolds to Aikins. Aikins. Looking for a gap in the Jewsbury defence. Still going, Caleb Bakins gets the arm free. Gets the ball down and Caleb Bakins. It's the last tackle, Reynolds. Oh, steps inside. All oh, the class in the world from Benny Reynolds. And that's the Rovers' second try of the evening. A couple of metres away from the try line. One tackle to defend. Sykes with a little kick in behind. It's caught by Lacan. Lacan is away. Go, Tom, and have you got the pace? Just run. Still going, Lacan steps in field, offloads it to Aikins. Great fullback play, play from Caleb Aikins. Now Rovers have got three men on the left edge. Minikin gives it to Wynn. Wynn's going to finish, surely steps inside, still can finish. Connor Wynn passes in field, and it's a try for Ben Reynolds. Second try of the evening from Ben Reynolds. Jones to Lacan, Lacan with a dummy and step. Tom Lacan, can he stretch over? Yes, he can. Oh, he'll have enjoyed that one, Tom Lacan. Bit of momentum there. Jones with a short pass, Jimmy Beckett. Here comes Reynolds. Running into the line at speed, releases Aikins, who then gives it to Connor Wynn. Connor Wynn shrugs off a couple of challengers and Wynn will score in the corner. Oh, the Good stint from James Lockwood. Jack Arnold comes on. In his place, and Connor Wynn goes down the left wing. He's got Connor Jones on his shoulder. Jones faints to go left, comes back right, gives it to Wynn. Wynn's going to go around Graham, surely. Connor Wynn, yes, he is. Oh, it's collected by Connor Jones, and Jones is going to. Race away to cross under the posts. Turner with the kick. It's caught by Connor Wynn and Connor wins away. Oh, this is the icing on the cake, surely. It's going to be a hat trick here for Connor Wynn. He's away. Turner's not going to catch him. And he caps off a man of the match performance with a hat trick try. Six again given against York, too slow on the tackled man. Lacan digs into the line, nice pass there for Hardcastle. Hardcastle spins out of one, he will score! And what a start for Featherstone Rovers off the back of the penalty. It was a lovely pass, a flat pass at the line. It's Patton, Patton with a little kick in behind looking for Hardcastle. It's grounded there from Josh Hardcastle, I think. Yeah, good work there from Josh Hardcastle, he gets the try. Reynolds with the kick in behind, looking for Day. Brad Day scores. It's a second Rovers try. Brad Day. On behalf of the FRTV team, myself, Jamie, Josh, and Tom, thank you for following us and being with us throughout 2024. Our season comes to an end here at Bartercard Odds, and it's finished. Bradford 25, Feverston Rovers 12.